Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mike, Cosmic Creations, Albany, Georgia. Uh, I know I hadn't done any videos in a while. Uh, I've been really, really loaded uh, with work uh, due to the holiday season. Um, things are good, but uh, it's definitely a time management uh, process. Um, it's been raining for three days, so everything is freaking saturated. Humidity's just been through the roof. Couldn't really do any painting um, in my paint booth. Um, so it slacked off yesterday and we started running dehumidifiers and uh, heaters in the booth to draw out all the moisture and um, get ready to do some primer today which brings me to where I'm at now um, this is uh, a review if you will and I don't do them very often but this is for a Warwick 904 HE um, I picked up this whole kit for around I think 210 something like that um and the reason i did it and i'm a soda man through and through i've used sodas you know all my life i got four sodas um i got a 3000 digital hlvp i got a 3000 non-digital hlvp hvlp excuse me um i've got a soda mini jet i think it's the mini jet 3000 um the new one just came out the 4000 and then I've got a SADA RP that I use for primer. And love all of them. Great guns, great quality, heavy made. Um, so going to a cheaper gun is definitely something that concerns me as far as atomization and longevity of the gun. So I know a couple of guys that um, I'm on boards with. Uh, we talk about a lot of hydro and... Um, hydrographics not hydroponics and um, paint um, bodywork um, different projects stuff like that and so a couple of them have started trying these Warwick's um, no one's really given any reviews and there's not really any reviews on YouTube except for a few um, Tony's done several um, great guy but so I decided to pick one up because of the price and try it out so again, Warwick 904 HE, this is waterborne solvent gun. Um, I have a 1.8 tip and needle in it now, and I bought it with an extra 1.4 and needle. All right, um, because I bought the kit, the case and everything, it does come with a rebuild kit. Um, I have never had to rebuild any of my SADAs, and I have used them a lot. Um, I clean them out after every use, which I'm sure helps with the longevity of the gun. But um, trying to let you see what all's in here. But with that being said, hopefully I won't need to either. So with that being said, uh, let me show you this just in case you need to know it for whatever reason. Um, Uh, lost my train of thought. Anyway, so hopefully I don't have to rebuild anytime soon. Um, I have used this gun several times. It sprays really, really good. I do love the atomization on it. Um, it is a 29 PSI two bar gun, uh, which is where my regulators are already set up for my sodas. Um, it pretty much comes with what you see here. If you buy this particular kit, you can buy it with just you know one tip set. Um, but 600 cc cup. I do have a 300, either 250 or 300 cc cup with an adapter to use a smaller cup with this gun because I do paint a lot of small pieces and there's no sense when I'm using you know anywhere from three to six ounces of material that I need a six a 600 cc cup. So sometimes I do use a smaller cup with this and it takes an adapter. I think it's adapter number 28. Um, a couple of things I don't like about the gun, the needle cap right here, it, it feels real thin. Um, it's one of those thin type things where you feel if like for a bolt or something, if you're going to tighten it down too much, this would crack. Um, now obviously you're not putting that much tension on it. You know, if you know how to adjust your needle for your trigger, it's, it's safe. I mean, it's, it's not going to crack on you. I'm just saying it feels that kind of thin like um, I would 
like for it to be thicker just for an overall better quality of the gun but again I've had it apart many many times I clean my needles my tips every time I, I use it and I have not had any problems you do want to make sure you're careful and do not cross thread this um, although they do sell replacement pieces if you cross thread it you're not going to be able to use the gun until you get a new piece so you're talking about a couple of days of downtime if you only have one gun you can certainly use this gun as one gun um, being it comes with different tip sets and again I have a 1.8 and a 1.4 um, another thing I don't like particularly about it um, let's see if we can get it to focus I guess we don't want to focus that well today. Um, Alright, so anyway, you can kind of see it right here. Um, the seal on this air cap is just a very... I'm going to call it what it is. Cheap um, nylon seal. Um, although it works, it could work better. Um... I know with solvents you have to be careful what type of rubbers you have going in the guns um, but because it is nylon once it conforms it doesn't spring back like a rubber gasket would and, and even rubber over a period of time is going to lose its elasticity and uh, it's going to have to be replaced but again I've never had to replace one on my Sada's. Now I've only used this gun for about a month, month and a half and, and although I've sprayed quite a bit through it, at some point I'm probably going to, you know, have to replace it. I'm assuming, uh, just based off what type of material is used in that air cap. Um, the air cap for the 1.4 and the 1.8 are exactly the same. They are identical, so you don't necessarily have to change them out. Um, other thing I don't particularly care for, and this is just preference is how your needle, uh, your fluid nozzle goes into your valve body uh, or your gun body. Um, it basically looks like this. Um, and this is only on the 904. Your 980, which is the next model up on this, pretty much uses the same nozzle sets as your SADAs. Um, Again, my 3000s, uh, they have that. And that's just personal preference. It works just fine. Um, it's, it's purely just personal preference. But um, that's the thing, other thing I don't like. Um, because this gun does spray so well, and at the price that it is, I probably will be getting a 980 uh, to try it out. Um, the only downside to the 980 is you cannot use a smaller cup, so you're stuck with a 600 and a 1000cc cup. But again, we're talking about a big gun like this that's made to do cars, vehicles, you know, big, large projects. Um, also, probably after the holidays, um, I'll get the 903H. Yeah, they make an H and they make a G. G is the... Eh... All right, don't quote me on it. One of them is a siphon feed, and one of them is gravity fed. Uh, of course, I'll get the gravity fed. I don't do siphon guns. Um, no offense to the old school guys, it's just me. But um, the 903 is a mini gun, much like the Sada Mini Jet, um, and it also comes with various tip sizes that I'll be using. So overall, you know, I do like it. Um, again, like I said, 29 psi, two bar. Um, I do keep, you know, strainer in the, um, the body. Um, I broke it down several times. I like it. I do like how the needle goes through the gun. Um, with the sodas, there's a little rolling pin right here in the trigger that you have to line up just right to put your needle through it. With this, it, it's not set up that way. Um, if you can see. And so it's, it's pretty much going to go straight through every time. You don't have to be careful about how you put your needle in. Um, not saying you should just shove it in, but if you did, it lines straight up, you know, every time. So it's no big deal. 
Um, really nice finish, really nice gun overall. Um, two fingers on each, no problem. Um, I've sprayed several bikes with this, um, and I haven't had any fatigue, you know, holding my trigger, spraying. Um, it did come with a regulator, like I said, and of course you can see that's the Warwick regulator, it's not a SADA. Um, so yeah, overall, um, I like it. It's, it's served well. I think the others are going to be great. Um, would I sell my SADAs and keep these? No. But that's only because my SADAs are paid for. Now, if I didn't have any SADAs at all, and I needed a good gun at a great price, then I would definitely buy this. Um, and be happy with it. Um, it would be one of those things where once you have it, you may decide you don't even need a SADA because once you learn how to paint with the gun and you can get excellent quality from the gun, why mess with something that's not broken, right? So, yeah, I mean, you know, again, I wouldn't sell my SADAs over these, but again, that's only because they're paid for. I think I paid, shit, around $2,400, $2,500 for all my SADAs. Um... And I bought them all at one time, and that's when the 3000s were new. They were six, seven hundred dollar guns. Um, so I bought, you know, basically a setup just like this, but much bigger. That had all four guns in the case, you know, cups, RPS cups, um, everything. So it was cheap to do it that way. Whereas if I'd have bought them individually, it would have cost a lot more than 2500 bucks. So you got a gun like this, you pick up around 200, you know, with both tip sets. Um, if you wanted the 980, it's, I think it's a little bit, probably around the same price. I don't really remember. Um, the 903 is about 100 bucks for the mini. So I mean, you'll have 500 bucks in three guns versus 2,500 plus for Sados. Um, so that's you know a big freaking difference. Um, so other than that, like I said, just wanted to show these off. Um, Eventually, I guess this Made in Taiwan sticker is going to come off with uh, the solvent. Um, I hadn't bothered to peel it off, but uh, it's not bothering me. So anyway, just wanted to show these off. Um, again, the Warwick 904H. Um, good gun for um, the, the dollar. Definitely a great price for the quality that it gives. Um, real, real quick, if I can get this damn thing to focus... I was trying to show you guys the holes in the air cap so you could see how much air will come through it and why you get the atomization that you do. Um, I'll try to give another video of it here in a little bit. Um, but anyway, you can kind of see them. I'm sorry my camera wants to be a dick today. It don't want to focus. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't be scared to get one of these. Um, they do spray really well. And, um, and I'm about ready to go get my damn GoPro out. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.